real estate is booming, Kathy Helbig, and everyone talks about closing costs. Closing costs. Simple question for you. What the yeah. heck are closing costs? What are closing costs? And a lot of people really have no idea. And actually, the better term to, to use, because when, buy, when you're buying a house as the buyer, it's closing costs and prepaids. So prepaids, people are like, huh? What the heck are prepaids? And those are going to be things like insurance, oh. um, taxes, your inspections, your lender fees, stuff like that. Yeah. So there's really two different, um, two different types of closing costs. When you are a seller you are going to have a title company fee. So when we sit down and meet with you, we go kind of through, do you have a mortgage? Do you have a, a second? Do you have lines of home, home equity lines open or credits, things like that? So what you're paying a title company for in Missouri, we don't use attorneys to close our deals. We use title companies. So you're paying a title company to do a title search. You're paying a title company to do a floodplain search because we have to check the floodplain maps every time we turn property over to right. the next owner. Um, you have to pay the uh, title company processor, so a processing fee. So all of those little fees, notary fees, recording of the deed fees. I mean, those are nominal little $50 fees, That's though. for the seller. So, right. right, so that's nominal. You, typically, mm -hmm. you're looking at $350-ish. Okay. Um, you also are looking at prepaying your taxes. A lot of people, when they're really skinny on what they owe on their current mortgage and they're, they've got to pay a commission, they got to pay that fee, mm -hmm. we also have to you know, recognize that they've got to pay their prorated taxes from the January 1 to the day that they close on the day of closing. And then the first question is, they go, no, 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 I have that in escrow. Yes, but you have to come out of pocket with it for a minute because that escrow funds are not going to be released until your mortgage is paid off, which is after the closing date. And then you get that escrow check later. <laughs> and then later. you get that nice escrow check. check later, usually huh. without th within 30 days. Okay. So the seller has very minimal closing cost fees. The buyer, on the other hand, carries the, the load. So in addition to your down payment, you have closing costs and prepaids. Your closing costs, again, are going to be title company fees. So you're paying the title company to process your side of the deal. Mm -hmm. And you'll have lender origination fees. So whoever you're working with on your mortgage will have their, their company fees, processing fees, that type of thing. And then what people don't expect is they don't know that you can pay your inspectors and appraisals and that type of thing, you can wrap those into your closing costs. You don't necessarily have to come out of pocket with that if you if you put those into the deal. Um, but those are also prepaids that you have to, people don't think about. I have to pay $400 for right. appraisal, mm -hmm. I have to pay $400 for inspection. And then you also are looking at your homeowner's insurance, 12 months paid up front. Mm -hmm. Then you're looking at another pad of two months more of that and two months of your property taxes that goes into escrow account. So all that can add up to about 3% of the purchase price of the house on average. <clears throat> so you asked me before the show started, can anyone buy a house with zero money, like $0 right. into it? And the answer is yes. They can do that with VA loans. You can do that with USDA loans, anything that, that allows for 100% financing. So you can finance those fees in the provided loan? Provided the seller lets you build the, the extra fees of the appraisal, the title company, those prepaids, right. and your buyer out of, out of the deal closing cost. You can add that on top of the price of the house and ask the seller to pay your closing costs. That's why buyers do that. Got it. So they, they, they're paying $3,000 more, Correct. But, but the seller's going to pay it off. Right. Yeah. So that's how a lot of people do this with that, that very little coming out of pocket, mm -hmm. which is very, very common in, in certain price points for buyers in this market to ask the sellers to pay the closing costs. A cost. lot of first-time home buyers, they got to get Even in. Even second, you'd be surprised. Really? It's just It's less money out of pocket. If you can save... You know, five thousand, six thousand dollars, and go buy furniture with it when you're mm -hmm. moving into a brand new house, right. or you can stick it into the loan and pay a dollar, two dollars extra a month. A lot of people would rather do that. The brilliant. So, uh, the, that's what it is. The brilliance Good of uh, Kathy Helby. Kathy Helby Group .com. How's the new office? It's great. We had a great turnout for it. We let, we had lots of listeners come, so that oh, was that's awesome nice, yeah. to get to meet people. And um, yeah, we're all settled in, and we're just cranking out houses and. 
I we heard, need more to sell. I heard uh, there was a Maserati who showed up. Yeah, Lamborghini, oh, nice. Bentley. Yeah, it was really? nice. It was yeah. a good time. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, had to away, right? we you know, we give those away with every house we sell. <laughs> <laughs> well, My phone's ringing already. <laughs> 314-276-SOLD or KathyHelbigGroup.com. That's what you need to know. She's got a full team to help you out, not just uh, Kathy Helbig. She's been doing this for 20-plus years. She looks like she's 32 years old. Kathy Helbig Group, 314-276-SOLD or KathyHelbigGroup.com.